once we have defined the inputs of our model, the next thing that we have to do is to define the algorithms that we want to execute. So I will switch to the processes tab and here you have a list of all the processes, all the algorithms that you can add to your model. Let's start adding the slope algorithm. Double click on the name and here it is, the parameter window of this algorithm. You can see that this is very similar to the parameter windows that you will find if you execute the slope algorithm from the toolbox. But there are a few differences. The first one that you might notice is that there is no tab for the output region. You will only find the parameters corresponding to the parameters tab, but nothing refer to the output region. This is because we are now defining the model conceptually. So we are not going to need to provide that kind of information to the modeler. It will be the user once the, uh, the model is defined and the user wants to execute the model, it will be that user who will define the extent. We are now not going to execute the model, we're just defining it. And that's the reason why that kind of information is not needed. Here you see the parameters, the elevation, method and units. Method and units, you can just select one of the methods or available here and the units available here. You just have to select one of the options. In case we had added here in our model one input of type selection, it will also be available here. That meaning that the method or the units that I want to select are the method or the units that were selected by the user the, who wants to execute the algorithm and runtime. Okay, but now since we just have one input, which is the data evaluation model, we cannot select here the data evaluation model because it's not the right type of input. So we just have the options that are available in this algorithm. In elevation here, we have to select a digital elevation model. And here we find not all the digital elevation model, not all the raster layers that are currently open in our GIS, but the raster layers that are currently available in our model. The only one that we have right now is the digital elevation model that we have already added and that would be selected. That will be selected by the user once he executes the, uh, the model. As we add more algorithms, these algorithms are going to generate more raster layers. So we will see these raster layers here once we add these algorithms. But right now, since this is the first algorithm, the only input that we can use for this uh, field, for this elevation parameter is this input here that we already added to the algorithm. The next thing that we can notice, which is different from the typical parameter window that we see when we execute an algorithm from the toolbox, is that here in the output objects, we cannot select an output channel. This is because we are not going to execute the algorithm. This is because we are just, I said it again, we are just defining the, the model conceptually, so we are not going to run it. And for this reason, we don't have to enter that information. However, we can select if this is a final result or just an intermediate result. In case you want to keep a result, you can click here, check this checkbox, and then type the name you want for that output object that is going to be generated by this slope algorithm. And that will cause the final model to have a field where the user can select an output channel. In case, uh, uncheck this, the algorithm is going to calculate this slope, but the user is not going to have the opportunity of entering an output channel because the user, in fact, is not going to know that this model is executing this algorithm. So if this is an intermediate result, just don't check this checkbox. And this is if this is a final result that you want uh, to keep, that you want the user to be able to keep and to select an output channel for this output, then just check here and type the name that you want the user to see. In this case, this is a intermediate result, so I will keep it like that. And I press an OK, and you see how they are linked. The DM goes to the slope algorithm. Much in the same way, I'm going to now add the other two algorithms. The first one, sync fill-in. Now you see I have 
two layers available. The first one is the detail elevation model, and the second one is the slope that was generated by the algorithm that I have already added. I'm going to select the detail elevation model here, and this result is not a final one, it's also an intermediate, so I'm not going to keep it here. The next algorithm is floor accumulation. Here I will use the output from the sink fill in process from the sink fill in algorithm. And this is not a final result as well. So you see, this is a workflow that I'm defining. And the last step is to use a slope and flow accumulation, both of them with the topographic indices algorithm. And the slope, I select the output of the slope algorithm and the flow accumulation is the output coming from the flow accumulation algorithm. And now this algorithm generates three new layers and I can just keep them, all of them, but instead of this long name, I will just write shorter names like TWI for the topographic wetness index, extreme power index, I will write SPI, and then the LS factor for this last one. And with this last step, I have already finished defining my model.